What's up everyone? Today we are going to take off and go down to Mount Juliet and start taking a look around out there for you. It is growing by leaps and bounds and that's for a lot of reasons. So number one, it's a really short commute to downtown. Um, takes no time at all to get downtown from Mount Juliet. Um, also, it's really close to the airport. So if you're a commuter and you're in and out of the airport, this is going to be a great place for you because it takes no time at all to get to the airport. There's lots of businesses moving in. There's a huge Amazon facility that just moved in there. The schools are fantastic. And also you're right in between two really great lakes. You're right in between Percy Priest and Old Hickory Lake, which are great places if you love to go boating and you love to be out on the water, um, then you're gonna love being uh, in Mount Juliet because it's right there. You know, a couple minutes, go put your boat in. Um, it's really convenient for that. So those are just a few, but those are some really great reasons to wanna live in Mount Juliet all on their own. So today we're gonna head out into some of these um, newer neighborhoods so that you can get a look and see uh, what those look like, what your money can buy for the new builds, and actually there's some existing homes that are for sale already in some of these neighborhoods as well. Um, not all of them are new, but a few of them are. And um, But keep in mind that there are tons of great neighborhoods in Mount Juliet that are well established, that have been around for a very long time. Um, we're not necessarily gonna hit on those today, but we will do that in a future video. There's also really great neighborhoods like on the lake, um, lakefront homes, things like that, where you can also buy in Mount Juliet. And so that'll also be another video, but um, so I just wanted to touch on some of the really popular or common neighborhoods that are coming up right now where you might be seeing a lot of homes for sale. And so if this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Jen Gramling and I'm a realtor here in the Nashville area. I'm just putting out weekly videos trying to help you get more familiar with Nashville and the surrounding area if you're thinking about moving here or relocating, um, just so that you can get the feel for the neighborhoods and see them for yourself. You can't always tell just from a picture of a house what a neighborhood feels like. So. I'm hoping to kind of convey that a little bit and help you get more familiar with, with the area. So um, if you have any questions at all about moving or relocating, feel free to reach out to me. You can send me a text, call, or email me. Happy to answer any and all of your questions. Um, so I'll put that information in the comments um, and be sure to reach out to me. Okay, so let's get on this tour. All right, now before we head into the neighborhoods, we're gonna go through Providence Marketplace really quick which is located just off I-40. Now this is a huge area here in Mount Juliet that literally has everything. So you have shopping in here from grocery stores to Target to Bed Bath & Beyond, um, Dick's Sporting Goods, all the way to smaller boutique stores, salons, um, tons of restaurants. So there's no shortage of really anything here in Providence Marketplace, including movie theaters too. So um, I just wanted to drive you through here so you can see and this is located really centrally to a lot of Mount Juliet. Um, it's also really, it's right off of I-40, so it's just really quick to get to from the highway. But um, Mount Juliet has a far north and a south side. And this is just right in the middle that's central to really all of Mount Juliet. So yeah, you can see that this is pretty great. Really everything you need here. So, um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and we're going to head out into the neighborhoods. Now that you know that you can get literally everything you need here in Providence. All right, so we're stopping into Bayard Farms first, um, and we are not far from Providence Shopping over here, which we already stopped into. And now this is a really cute planned development with a beautiful pool, walking paths, and a playground and a clubhouse, um, all kinds of great amenities. I love how the playground is right by the pool, so when you're done swimming, you can play at the pool or go back and forth, so that's kind of fun. Um, and like I just said, um, it's really close to shopping and the highway, so making it just a really great place to be. Um, and so in Baird Farms, you can find homes anywhere from 2,100 square feet with three bedrooms, two baths, all the way up to almost 4,000 square feet. Um, and the prices can range from the mid 400s to mid 600s. And likely that will be creeping up to 700, I imagine, as the demand continues to increase. But as you can see, there is a lot of curb appeal in here with some really great looking houses. And the lot sizes in here can range anywhere from just under a fifth of an acre um, up to kind of a max of a quarter acre or so. A lot of this has been new building still, but a couple have sold that were already existing, but it's a newer community in general. 
And now new home lots are sold out right now as of February, but they are going to release more for building later in the spring. Um, and so, but those probably won't be completed if you were to put a deposit on a new lot until early sometime next year in 2022. Um, but prices on those still in that mid 400 to 600 range. So if you're thinking of not moving in 2021, but in 2022 instead, and are interested in a new build, this could be a great option. So feel free to check with me on details for that um, and getting a home in this neighborhood. Okay, so we're gonna swing through Walton's Grove really quick. And this is a newer development also, and there's lots of buildings still going on. And this neighborhood has a lot of great amenities too. There's a pool and a clubhouse and a playground. And um, you're also close to grocery stores and other shopping as well. And houses in here can go anywhere from 1,800 square feet all the way up to 2,700 square feet. And the lots, you know, about 0.15 acre up to about a third of an acre on some. And then the prices, they range kind of from the mid 300s up through the mid 500s. So this is a smaller neighborhood just kind of getting started in here. There's a few builders. Um, so all in all, it's a pretty great little neighborhood, but you might see some homes for sale in here. So just thought we would show you a little bit of Walton's Grove. Okay, so I wanted to come through Lake Providence. Um, and if you saw my Spring Hill video, um, I talked about a community, uh, which is a Del Webb community down in Spring Hill, which I really, really loved. And so I wanted to highlight the one here in Mount Juliet as well, because Lake Providence is a Del Webb community also, which is a 55 plus um, active lifestyle community also. And it's just pretty great. So, and this has all of the really great amenities that the other Del Webb community has. So this neighborhood is gated, unlike the other Del Webb community. Um, and there is an attendant at the gate. And so a lot of those amenities in here, um, there's a tennis club, an indoor pool, an outdoor pool, fitness center, walking trails, um, and lots of activities to do. Um, lots of people to hang out with. There's just always a lot going on in here. So it's a really fun place to live. And it's truly just beautiful. And now you can buy houses in here as small as a two bedroom for you know just over a thousand square feet, all the way up to, um, well, I just saw a listing for almost 6,000 square feet, um, which had a fully finished basement. And then the prices can typically range, you know, between the 300s through the 500s with some in the sixes as well. So if you're looking for a 55 plus community, this is it. It's low maintenance, um, lots to do, lots of activities. It's gated. Um, all in all, it's a really awesome neighborhood. So definitely worth checking out. Okay, now we are in Nichols Vale, which is a really popular neighborhood right now. Um, and it can fit a lot of different requirements. So there are townhomes in here and single family homes. So it's pretty diverse in what it offers as far as homes go. And like all the other planned developments, there are amenities like a pool and a clubhouse. Um, kind of cute. They have a fishing pond where you can go fishing. Um, it's close to schools and shopping. And um, the prices in this neighborhood start in the mid 300s and go up through the high 500s to even, you know, into the low 600s. And like I said, that can include townhomes and smaller homes, those starting in and around 1800 square feet. And those go all the way up to about 3700 square feet. It's kind of the largest in here. So um, typically the lot sizes can be around, uh, start around 0.17 acre and go up to just over a third of an acre. Um, and that would be for like a three bedroom, two bath up to a five bedroom, three bath. And then you have several different builders in here to choose from. So there's a lot of different um, aesthetics that you can see, a lot of different um, house types. So just a lot of um, diverse housing options in this neighborhood. So, and I think that's what makes it so popular is that there's a, it has a lot to offer to a lot of different people. So. Okay, so I feel like I kind of saved the best for last and I'm really excited to take you through Jackson Hills. 
Um, so let me start by saying that this is a neighborhood by Signature Homes, which I am a huge fan of Signature Homes, and they build an absolutely gorgeous house. And um, on top of that, you know, they're so easy to work with. Their website is amazing, so it's really interactive. So you can go in and mess with their home plans and add on a third car garage or a fourth bedroom if you want and see how that will change your price. Um, so their website's super easy to use, but their houses are just amazing. And you know, typically with a lot of builders, you have to spend a ton in upgrades, but that's not the case with Signature. Um, you're not gonna spend, you know, over 20,000 spent in their design center would be just an absolute ton. So, you know, their houses just base are really, really nice and I appreciate them so much. So, um, and then also every one of the communities that they build seems to have just tons of great amenities with dog parks and all kinds of things. So, um, you'll see as we go in here, but, um, wanted to go ahead and start showing you some of these houses. And that's one thing about Signature Homes is they have a ton of curb appeal. They are so pretty on the outside. Um, the lots in here can start as small as one point, I'm sorry. And the lots in here can start as small as 0.15 acre and go all the way up to almost a half an acre. So it's got a big range in lot size in here. And then with that, you can have anywhere from a home that's 1,800 square feet all the way up to about 4,300 square feet. And that would be, you know, the former being a three bed, two bath, all the way up to even a six bed, four bath was built in here already. So um, you are really close to schools here and shopping. It's really convenient to everything. Uh, the association fees in here are about $80 a month. And um, I sort of touched on it a little bit ago, but they have really great amenities in here. So Jackson Hills has a beautiful clubhouse, um, a workout facility, a fitness center, a resort style pool, a dog park, a wiffle ball field, fire pit, and indoor and outdoor entertaining spaces. So, I mean, this neighborhood couldn't possibly have any more to offer. And that's just how all signature home communities are. And I just love them. So always raving about them. They don't pay me except if I, I guess, sell a house, but um, I get nothing from this. I just really, really love signature homes. I'm a big fan of theirs. So no hidden agenda there. I just really like their community. So they just released some lots as well. Um, and they will be releasing more in the future. So if you have any questions about this neighborhood, also feel free to give me a call. Um, and then they have other communities as well. So I can put you in touch with those as well. So I think that's going to be the last neighborhood we tour will be this Jackson Hills. But like I said, definitely save the best for last. This is such a cool community. Okay, so I think we're gonna wrap it up here. Um, I think we've seen a lot of great neighborhoods today. We are definitely not done with Mount Juliet. We will return, um, see some of those lake homes and some of those older neighborhoods and things like that. But at least this um, gives you something to get started with and you got to see a little bit of Mount Juliet. And so as I said before, I'm a realtor here in the area. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me, text me, call me, whatever you need to do. I'm happy to answer any and all of your questions about moving. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be the first to see these as they're coming out. And I'll see you on the next video.